Well, what if, what's the success story of moderate socialism? Right? Well, uh, Chavez in Venezuela was a moderate socialist. I mean, he wasn't Stalin, and he wasn't, he wasn't Mao, and he, and he certainly wasn't Pol Pot. So, you know, what did he do? He basically, uh, you know, the oil, oil company had already been nationalized before he took over. But, he, but he, he nationalized all the oil services industries around the oil fields. And then, he, and then he nationalized and turned into collective farms, all the farming businesses. I, I mean, nothing wrong with that, right? That, that's, that's kind of, uh, that's just plain, vanilla, simple socialism, right? I mean, what does Corbyn want to do? He wants to nationalize some stuff. Nationalization is a core to this, and it's good for the country, and it's for the group, and it's for the collective, and to hell with the individuals who own it. They don't, they don't matter. And ultimately, is this central planning better than each of us doing our own thing and all this chaos running around there in the marketplace? If we could plan how many tomatoes or potatoes or lettuce we needed to make, wouldn't that make more sense? Well, you're seeing how much sense it makes by the fact that today in Venezuela, people are literally starving. Little babies are dying of malnutrition in Venezuela. Now, let's, let's put this in context, right? Venezuela has more oil reserves than any country on the planet, more than Saudi Arabia. They just can't access them because when they nationalized everything to do with the oil fields, they lost all the technology and the ability to innovate and the ability to stay on top and to go out and explore and find all the oil. The oil is there, they just need to go get it. They don't have the capital, they don't have the resources, they don't have the ability. So oil is drying up. There's no food. We're talking about a country that is one of the most fertile countries in the world, certainly in Latin America. Used to export food before the farms were nationalized. But you know what? It turns out, it's funny, it's kind of weird, the collective farms in Ukraine and collective farms in China and collective farms in Venezuela, and I'd even say collective farms in Israel, don't work. They don't produce the goods. Nobody cares. We're going to try it again, because we should next time it'll work. Einstein had something to say about, uh, what do you call uh, somebody who uh, tries to do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results? That's insanity. And yet, socialists are insane.